For me, the biggest unanswered question from give and take is what are the steps for turning a taker into a giver? We know a lot about how to get takers to give in a particular moment. No one wants to be seen as a taker. If you can make behavior visible, takers tend to either match or give a little bit more. We also know that takers tend to be more generous once they identify with an organization or a person. As they become attached to either you or to a group of people, then they start to blur the line between self-interest and concern for others because if we're identified with each other, then helping you or helping this organization is gonna reflect positively on me. The problem is when the taker switches to a different relationship, a different group, a different organization, it's like a reset button has been hit and that person might go back to his or her old ways. So one of the things I'd love to explore next is what, is it, what does it actually require to shift a taker's more fundamental mindset and values? It's probably worth recognizing that there are different reasons that people fall into a, a taker pattern of behavior and that we might actually need different strategies for influencing them depending on whether they're taking because they're narcissists and they have very inflated but fragile egos and it's a sense of scarcity and insecurity that leads them to feel they've got to claim everything for themselves. Is it, on the other hand, that they used to be a giver or a matcher and got burned one too many times and learned the hard way it's, it's dangerous to not be selfish? And uh, I'd love to, to investigate that a little bit more. But if you look at the data, what most employees are looking for in their jobs is a sense of meaning and purpose. And when you look at, in turn, what makes work meaningful, what enables people to feel that their daily lives in organizations are significant, more than anything else, it's the belief that my work makes a difference that what I do has some kind of benefit or lasting value to other people. And I think this is something a lot of leaders overlook. I spent a couple of years studying call centers and asked leaders, what would you do to motivate people who are working in very stressful, difficult jobs? And the most common answers were, of course, the opposite of what we actually found worked. A lot of employees were skeptical, especially in a call center context of, you know, does, does my work really do this good or is my boss just trying to get me to work harder? There's an ulterior motive there. And what I found with a group of colleagues is that it's actually really effective to outsource inspiration, to find the customers, the clients, the end users who would benefit from your products and services, who can really speak firsthand to their impact. And we've got staggering results in the call center setting when doing this. We bring in one person who's benefited from the work that you do to talk for five minutes about its impact, and we get over a 400% caller by caller spike in weekly productivity. I think sometimes there is a tension between highlighting the mission and purpose behind work and measuring day-to-day -day performance. I think one of the challenges that we all face as leaders is also an opportunity to say, what can we do to actually translate those day-to-day -day performance metrics into contributions toward the mission? Or into, you know, here's the, the way in which the purpose of this work is being fulfilled. So an interesting example of this that comes to mind is at Merck where uh, we've had a number of conversations about the idea that many of the, the jobs, particularly if you're doing sales, are hard to connect to what's the real impact on patients. But if you could actually translate the value of a drug into life years saved or quality of life contributed, it really shifts the meaning of the work and now the performance measurements are less mundane. It's not easy to do, but I think in the next few years, we're gonna see organizations actually start to innovate by coming up with, with mission relevant metrics as opposed to just standard performance evaluations.